Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to our talk. Uh, today, we're going to speak about security gating with Argo CD. And um, my name is Mathias. I'm a professional barista. I'm also a fitness trainer. And uh, I'm a Kubernetes contributor and also one of the lead maintainers of uh, Kubescape that uh, we will talk about in, the, in this talk. Hi, my name is uh, Laurent uh, Rochette. I'm French, as you can hear. Uh, I worked for, until a month ago, um, Codefresh, and we just been acquired by Octopus Deploy. So uh, I live, despite my accent, I live in, uh, in Arizona. So if you have trouble, uh, Matthias can translate for you. <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry, I just shattered my ankle uh, on Sunday. So. I'm going to be uh, hoping a little bit here and there, so. I hope you're not high on morphine. No, I didn't took it this morning. <laughs> All right. So this is our agenda for today. Uh, first, I'm going to speak about Kubescape. What is it? Then how we can integrate Kubescape into your CI CD pipeline. And then Laurent. I will talk a little bit of, about uh, Argo rollout, you know, what it is for the few people I'm sure that don't know what it is in this room. And then we'll do a demo of Kubescape uh, used in an Argo rollout to basically block uh, a deployment. Yes. Good. So let's speak about Kubescape. So Kubescape, first of all, is a CNCF sandbox project. So my company donated it last year. Um, and we are going for uh, incubation. So if you are using Kubescape, we will need your help, but uh, let's talk about it at the end of the talk. Uh, so Kubescape is the only security scanner uh, in the CNCF, and we plan on becoming like a security platform. And Kubescape helps you to see misconfigurations, uh, vulnerabilities, and security risks uh, in your whole Kubernetes clusters. Uh, it's basically a CLI tool that you run, and that is very flexible, so you can have like multiple formats in and out, so you can easily integrate with rollouts or any, any other uh, automation platform and perform those scans like regularly. You can also, uh, so by default, we scan about security frameworks, the, the well-known ones, so MyTrees, uh, NSA, or CIS. But you can also create your own uh, controls if you want. Um, we aim to be like lightweight and scalable, so which should be suitable for any cluster, be it only like a very small cluster that you deploy on the edge up to like very big deployments. So as a starting point, let, let's look at a typical CI CD pipeline. So I have uh, shown like the three main uh, phases of this pipeline, like the development phase, the build phase, and the release phase. So you have like well-known tools in there. So you have like your Git repo, your infrastructure as code, uh, Argo CD, of course, Argo rollouts, your container registry, and then how, how the, the developer interacts with all these different uh, components. Um, so, as I told you, Kubescape is very uh, flexible, so you can integrate it uh, into like various uh, parts of this CI CD pipeline. So, first of all, we have a VS Code plugin, so you can start uh, taking into account security problems right in your IDE. We can, you can also integrate uh, inside your developer platform if you're using Backstage. Then we have some steps in the, all the well-known uh, CI CD tools like Codefresh, uh, soon Octo, Octopus Deploy. Yeah, there are different tools for now, but yeah. <laughs> GitHub Action, GitLab, Jenkins, whatever. And we can, you can also like, integrate Kubescape into your, CL, uh, into your registry scan from the CLI. You can also have like, continuous scanning uh, if you use our Elm install to monitor all your workloads as they are like, scheduled in your cluster. Um, yeah, both of them. 
and we support alerting uh, via Prometheus and Alert Manager uh, through our Prometheus exporter tool. So now if you look, so this is how Cubescape can integrate into your development environment. So to start from the, from the left, we can integrate the inside your CI CD. We can scan uh, your infrastructure as code. We can scan your container registries. Uh, this is like the Prometheus and Grafana integration. And of course, uh, directly in cluster, uh, either via Argo rollouts or even uh, when your workloads are scheduled. So the subject of this talk is how to use Cubescape to do some gating. So if I come back to the same schema, we could put some gates at these different uh, steps. So either before pushing to your repo or once your repo is like used to, to, to build your application or your deployments, then we can also block whenever you try to push into your production container registry. And we can also block, which will be the subject of the demo, when you try to deploy something that is not secure in your cluster. So let's talk a little bit about Argo Rollout for people who may not be familiar with it. So Argo Rollout is basically a controller to help with your uh, progressive deployment. So by progressive deployment, we're talking about blue-green, you know, canary, some kind of experimentation. Basically, before you go full deployment on your production server, you want to be sure you, you test a little bit of your, uh, of your new container, of your new application. Uh, and the nice thing about Rollout is you can do um, automatic rollback uh, based on some uh, metric or test. So it's basically a deployment. It's very similar to your deployment manifest with uh, some um, strategy to decide you know, what you want to do. And you can integrate it with uh, ingress controller, service meshes, uh, and you can get some metrics. Uh, and those metrics can come from uh, different things. So basically anything with, uh, with an API. So you can talk to you know, Datadog, or uh, Prometheus, you know, th this kind of tools, the idea is to be sure that what you deploy is, you know, sound um, before you, you finish your rollout and you deploy it to your, um, to, your old pi um, to your old cluster. The only thing you can do is to use job, and that's what we're going to use in the demo. Here, the idea is to run uh, a Kubernetes job or a workflow uh, and to be able to to do some, some kind of testing, run a CLI, uh, again, to be sure that what you're deploying uh, is not going to break your, uh, your cluster. So the, the idea is to really, in this case, for this demo, is to do uh, a security check during the rollout, so before we deploy everything to the cluster. And so if there is a problem, you can stop it immediately, and you didn't uh, basically open some kind of uh, of severity to for your cluster or firewall hole or you know whatever you're, you're trying to test so that way even at, at the late stage of, uh, of production you, you can prevent uh, basically um, you know in this case cubescape to uh, to block that rollout and to be sure you know everything is fine so let's see how it works oops, uh, in um, in the demo so we have uh, an application here in um, in Argo CD. So as you can see, uh, it's a very simple. It's uh, Nginx that we use for, for our demo. So let's go look at your, um, not at that thing, sorry about that. Here, so I have my, my manifest. I have uh, a deployment. Uh, and so I'm going to change uh, the version that I, I want to put on my, on my cluster. So we're going to go to one. 25.4, I'm going to save that. So that's my deployment, and here I have my, my rollout. And what my rollout is saying is basically put 50% of, um, of my pod with a new version, and then run this uh, scan. And the scan is basically a job that's going to run uh, Cubescape. And Cubescape is going to be able to tell us you know, if everything is fine. So I'm going to save that. Go back to where is my sorry, wrong one. Okay, pull. 
So push, push all. So I'm pushing what I know is a bad image. And so Argo CD automatically, you know, is going to notice my, uh, my new manifest. And if I go to my uh, rollout part, it should take a minute. Okay, so as you can see it's syncing. My, it's deploying to my stuff. My al analysis run is running. And if I go look at the log here, we are going to see that Cubescape is, uh, is in progress. And if you want to comment on the Cubescape aspect, uh, Matthias. Yes, so as you can read from the log, uh, Cubescape is currently scanning the, the image of, of the workload that is going to be deployed. Uh, we also, just before that, loaded all the different uh, security controls. And we are also analyzing uh, the, the, the YAML of the, the deployment as it is uh, being deployed. I don't want to show me the log. Ah, oh, here we go. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. So what has just happened? Um, so here you can see the, the result of a typical uh, Cubescape CLI uh, scan. You can see uh, the type of the workload, which is a deployment, the name, which namespace, and the result. So you can see there are several red crosses here, which means that some of the controls have failed. And just after the, the different tables, you can see the number of vulnerabilities that are present in this image including two critical. And since we, we ran the, the scan uh, with the, you had the command line somewhere? Ah, yeah, with the with high. threshold of, of uh, high. The severity high. Since we failed some of the high uh, controls, we gave like uh, an error code. And what happens? Then, so the, um, Basically, the rollout has failed, and now if I go look at my, my deployment and I look at my pod, you will see that I'm still on the previous version, which would be 115, if I can find it. Yeah, yeah. So my, basically, my, my rollout prevent you know, the, that version to be deployed properly. So let's go back now and let's push. Uh, so here's the, the command line you were talking about. So we had put a, a threshold of high uh, to be sure that we didn't deploy if, you know, we had some, uh, some, some bad issues. So let's go to my rollout, uh, sorry, to my deployment, one thing. So let's go pick an image that I know is good. So same thing, let's go push that here, push on, and this time we have a good image. So now le le let's roll the dice again. So again, Argo CD find there was some, some deployment to do. It's pushing some of the, of the new pod. And now we should have a new uh, test here, uh, a new job to, to run the Cubescape. So again, as you can see, I, uh, now I'm testing my, my new images. And I don't know why the log doesn't want to show me. Oops, sorry, wrong one. Yeah, not the one I want. Log. What's up? No. Cubes. Sorry. What's happening? Live demo, nothing better. Yes. Okay, so why it's not going to the... I'm confused. Actually, it's not a Java image. The first one failed, I don't know why. Did we... Uh... It failed. Oh, okay, so show us the log. Oh no, what happened? So here, so now, now you can see at the end of the log that the image now looks safe. There are no vulnerabilities in there. But as I told you, 
We, we are not only looking at the vulnerabilities with Cubescape, oh, we are also looking at the posture. So, in this, if, can you go back to the, to the output? Yes, uh, I am. Um, I, I will no. point out uh, which one is the high one that we failed. So, the issue is, is about the first one uh, of the node escape is the privileged escalation. So, you could click on the link if you want. Which one? The C16. Uh, the, this one. Oh, okay. And then it should explain you what's wrong and what we should check. So remediation. If your application does not need it, make sure that uh, it's set to false. So let's look at your deployment and see yeah, if I we can fix to, that. Yeah, I forgot to change uh, to change that. Yeah, change please. It's a good de it's a good demo. It's a good demo. Yeah. We did it on purpose. <laughs> yeah, pl please appreciate the the actor uh, the acting. Yes. Okay. Push good image again. Um. Yeah, you should have put like fix privilege escalation, but. Uh, I know. Uh, okay. Where is my so let's do a quick sync, synchronize. Okay, new stuff coming. I should have a new analysis run. Here we go. Ah. Log. Okay, we're pushing. So I was able to push the same image again because basically my previous try didn't deploy it. Else, if you try to push the same image again, uh, you know, nothing would happen. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go back here. Log. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. okay, and now, no, now, we yes, now that's good. Now we are good. Oh, no. Our compliance result exceeds. What? Exceeds Again? It. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Need to fix everything. Oh yeah, I know. We Let's forget look at the output. I think we, we are missing some limits as well. I, I use the same one. Yes. Okay. Well, okay. Show, show, show us the manifest again. So another control that is in high is not the C16. It's that you, you need to put like oh, the resources. resources. Oh my yes. gosh! <coughs> and I promise we re -asked. Yeah, no, no, no. It's the last one. Yes. <laughs> Famous last word. Good image again, again. <sighs> so you, n next time uh, we will install the um, the VS Code plugin, so you, you will have directly uh, the. Directly uh, the <laughs> <laughs> you know the L underlying in red saying that yes, you should fix this as well. Okay. So as you can see, Cubescape is way more efficient than we are. So. No, but um, yeah, that's that's a good. That's a we we are humans. We make mistakes. And uh, especially if you are working with other people that are not like a hundred percent Kubernetes experts, uh, so it, it really prevents people from doing silly things. Yeah, but we're French. I thought French didn't make mistake. <laughs> no, no, we, we, we don't admit it. Oh, okay. Um. So now it should be good. Yeah, I, I press the wrong button. Right? I don't have my mouse, so it's. Um, Yes, now it was good. Now we're good. So now if we go look at our pod that have been deployed, we should have finally 
the correct version. Where is my image? Uh, what I'm looking at? Pod. Oh, no, nope, not that one. That's not. That's no, not that's my pod. No, that's, no, no, that's, no, that's, that's the job. Uh, that's my job. Uh, oh, here it is. All right. Good. Yes. Nine twenty. Yes. Yeah, victory! Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Great. So now some key takeaways from this demo. Never trust a French guy, <laughs> especially when they are two. I'm going to blame the drugs, finally. <laughs> yes. So if you use Kubescape in all steps of your pipeline, you can make sure you are secure all the way. Um, yeah. Um, and all, all those tools like really help you have like automatic security, streamlined, uh, improved collaboration, whatever. And now I have a question. So does any of you knew Kubescape before or are using it? Oh yeah, some people. Good. So now we need you. Can I have this, the, the last slide, please? And then we go to the QA. Oh, it's not updated. OK, it's OK. So please, we, we are going for incubation. So if you are using Kubescape, please open a PR and put yourself in the adopters list. Because uh, we, need more, we need to prove that more people are using it. We know it from the telemetry data. But we need to prove to the CNCF that we are popular so we can go to the next step. Yes. So, questions? Yes. Uh, the analysis template? This one? Ah. Yes, uh, we, will, we will add it to the documentation, uh, the example. And uh, actually, um, since there are some steps already for, uh, we, could, we could add like something in the Argo rollout. Yeah. Probably if you can put like plugins or something, so that's a good idea, yeah. Anyone? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Vive <laughs> la France. Yeah. <laughs>